morning, crafty people. I'm Amy Love, and I am excited about getting started on my first altered box challenge. I joined a great group of crafty ladies online, and we've uh, been doing challenges where we'll um, make something and then swap it with each other. So I joined the altered box challenge, and it had to be certain dimensions. And I got this box at Hobby Lobby for $2. So I'm excited to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a coat of paint and then we will start the creative process. So I got my box coated in paint and then I got excited and went ahead and um, did the inside. I covered the inside with this really beautiful paper. It even has um, some distressing on it. And I put that on the top and on all the sides. And then I also put it around the sides of the box in here. And then I added this trim, which I love. It's lace with um, beads all around the top. And this bottom piece, if you can get a good look. I'm trying to get good light. That is actually quilted, so it's it's soft, and I put some um, a fusible fleece behind there to give it a cushy feel, and I just used some scraps of some um, cute fabrics I had and sewed them together, and then around the inside I put um, some bead trim around all the edges, and I think I'm just going to leave the inside like that. I think I'm happy with the way that looks inside. And on the outside, I don't know if you can see, but I've already drawn some lines. I'm going to start painting. I think I'm going to paint some um, really light stripes on the side. And then um, I'll break out all my embellishments and we'll figure out the rest. So I really intended for this to be a tutorial, but as I was making it, I realized that I can't ever make up my mind, and I kept adding things and taking things off, and if I would have made a tutorial of all that going on, it would be hours long. So <laughs> I went ahead and finished it. So you've already seen the inside, so let me show you what I've done. Um, on the top, I um, decoupage some lace on and then I had this fabulous do doily with this ruffle. I cut the ruffle out and glued it all the way around and then added this crocheted lace trim. Then I wanted it to have a handle so I made this handle out of um, lace and I forget what this stuff is called but it's lace and like a ribbon. Well, it's seam binding, okay. It's lace and seam binding. And some feather puffs and pearls and a rose. And then I put some more um, feather puffs. I love the feather puffs. And a, a heart bling right there. And then on this side, I made this flower which I'll try to put a link to the tutorial below of where I learned how to make this flower. It's beautiful. I love it. I made a couple of them already. And then I've got like a shabby flower back here. And then I, that's a metal leaf that I use some um, gesso to change the color. And then I've got a big, looks like a crystal teardrop. And then I just put these little pearls in the corner and I just love it and then I added this bow to the front. Then for the box itself on the outside is here's the, is when I get started I don't want to stop so it's very hard for me but here's the stripes that I that I added and they actually were darker than I wanted them to be so I went ahead and put on another coat of the um, cream acrylic paint over the top and then I've added this um, crocheted lace um, with the um, ribbon going through all the way around. 
And then on the front is another flower that I made. And I believe it's the same lady that I learned how to make this flower. I'll put a link to um, the tutorial for this flower too. That might have been a different, I don't know. But I'll put both the links down below. And I put like a tulle flower behind it. And then um, I made this um, fabric bow and this little flower. And then I wanted to dangle another one of those um, teardrops from the front with some lace and some seam binding. So I think it turned out really cute. I think I might, maybe I've done too much because that, it gets a little busy maybe when, because this hangs so low. I don't know, what do you think? It's really pretty, it's really cute. I honestly wish I was keeping it, but I actually made it to swap with somebody else. So as soon as I get my box from my swap partner, I'll do another video so you can see um, what she made for me. All right, thanks for watching.